wedding films, a taboo topic amongst commercial and narrative filmmakers. However, no one talks about the feeling you get after seeing the good work and the happy faces of the people. Every single day for the remainder of our time together on this side of eternity. That is probably one of the main reasons I decided to transition from a commercial into a wedding filmmaker. This video is not a tutorial on how to become a wedding filmmaker. Instead, this video and this channel in general will try to follow my path as a filmmaker who is transitioning from a commercial filmmaker into one that shoots and captures the best moments for people that are in love. This is the backstory. Three years ago, I decided to start my journey as a professional filmmaker. Somehow I managed to get into commercials and events and I loved it in the beginning. The money was good, the products were interesting, but eventually I started getting tired of it. As I was growing as a filmmaker, I wanted to start making bigger commercials, more interesting, maybe with a bigger crew, but it was difficult for me to find clients who are willing to pay for that, you know, to have a better crew and to have a better commercial in general, bigger projects. So I was kind of forced to work by myself and I was very lucky, of course, to have the, the work, but I wasn't liking it as much anymore. And let's not forget that dealing with corporate clients is the worst. Fast forwarding to a couple months ago when another filmmaker who is actually shooting weddings asked me if I can shoot for him as a second camera. And I said, yes, why not? I mean, it's a no brainer. I don't have to even edit. The thing is, after filming, I felt somewhat emotional. Here I am, just a simple guy with a camera there capturing some of the most important moments for these people. And I really like that feeling. Maybe I can make this work for me. I mean, I do hate editing and I hate Brazilas. There must be a way how I can make the whole process more simple and enjoyable for me. You probably think what research did I do? So this is, that's, that's the part that I, I'm talking about the research I did. So the research. I started watching a lot of videos and reading as much as possible about the topic. Obviously I found a lot of YouTubers who talk about how to become a wedding filmmaker or what is it like to be a wedding filmmaker in general, but there was always something wrong or something that I didn't like, not in each person, but in, in the advices they would give. They would either make everything sound super complicated or talk about a certain equipment that you need, or I wouldn't generally agree with their mindset until I found him. Philip White, a mysterious filmmaker from the UK. I managed to find a few videos of him talking about his process and his mindset and they really touched me in a sense because I really agreed with them and it's what I was looking for. I watched many of his films and they were also simple and cinematic in the same time and there was something very appealing to his style of weddings. I also did a breakdown on one of his videos and the editing seemed very very simple although most of the wedding videos i see there's a lot of wide shots uh, like on a 60 or 24 millimeters maybe sometimes you would go like to something like a 50 millimeter lens i noticed that his films were shot on a more zoomed lens maybe 85 or something like that the basics of storytelling uh, is that you need a problem so that it's more interesting so this is the problem Originally I wanted my style to be something in between, like a hybrid of uh, wedding videos, like the standard wedding videos you can see everywhere now, and uh, like a commercial slash fashion style. I gave up on that idea very quickly because editing an entire wedding like this in this style is gonna be very, very difficult. I'm gonna burn out very quickly. Plus, I really wanted something timeless. I wonder when people watch this video, this film in 10 years to still not feel outdated and to feel cinematic and to, enjoy it the same way you would enjoy it the first time. That's why I turned to movies. I started watching a lot of dramas and not only, I watched also a lot of darker films. I tried to notice what type of shot would make me feel sad or happy or emotional in general. A teacher of mine once told me that every problem has a solution, so uh, welcome to the solution part. I want a dark look. I always loved darker shots in movies. Plus having a darker feel and a darker mood and darker image in general in my wedding films will help me to separate from the pool of oversaturated and overexposed wedding films. I want to try to shoot as much as possible documentary style. I don't want people to hold hands and just walk and pretend that they're doing something interesting. I don't want to film white most of the times. I feel like when I shoot, if I'm shooting white, I'm, I have to be too close to the person. And when I'm too close to the people, I notice that they feel shy, especially if I want to take like a bit of a longer shot, maybe 5-10 seconds and add a couple of seconds to adjust the camera if something needs to happen. I just, I don't know, it, it's awkward, it's weird. So I believe if I go the route of uh, Philip White and shoot on a longer lens such as 
85 millimeter i think that will be amazing because i can keep my distance i can also still take a close-up and still be quite far from the person and if i need to take a wide shot i'm just gonna try to go to go backwards it's gonna be a wider shot the camera i'll be using is my trusty fuji film xt3 as i already mentioned i want to film on something like 85 millimeter lens which since i have a crop sensor i need something like a 50 50 something i only have two lenses who have this focal length one of them is the kit lens however the zoom lens is like at f4 i believe when you zoom in all the way in and i need something brighter for weddings and the other lens i have is what was the name the helios 44 something it's like a 56 millimeter lens i believe it's at f2 the good thing is actually of the helios is because it's a vintage lens it will actually give me a bit more you know of this timeless uh, vintage look uh, which will be i believe very interesting for for the weddings we have to see i'll be shooting at 4k uh, at 50 frames per second at the highest bit rate possible i will film with a film simulation on my fuji first of all because fuji has amazing film simulations and amazing colors maybe i can make a custom uh, film simulation that will mimic one of the old film stocks and this way it will allow me when i film to actually see what i can what i'm filming because unfortunately my fuji doesn't have this option where i can preview in in, in uh, 709 to keep the shot steady i will use the monopod camera doesn't have ibis unfortunately filming on handheld on the 85 millimeter or 56 millimeter in that case it's very difficult and it's pretty much impossible even if you slow it down as my second camera doing the speeches ceremony and the first dance i will use my other fuji which i am filming now it's the same fuji film xt3 so uh, they will match perfectly it will be exactly the same settings as my other camera and that camera will be using either this lens which is the sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 or a 135 millimeter which is jupiter it's like an old vintage lens 135 it's it is f4 though so it will be depending on this situation i will try to borrow or rent a third camera both of these cameras the second and the third one will be on a tripod but they will be my safe angles because my monopod will be the one that is moving around it's taking close-ups and it's taking i don't know shots of uh, reaction shots of the people for sound i'm actually good uh, because i do have the zoom h6 i also have two sennheiser lapels my my zoom h6 i will connect straight to the soundboard so that i can take the sound that's coming from the microphones there and i would also have on the other channels the wireless microphones because like this i will have everything in the same file and i can just have them already synced up at least the sound i think we need to end, end this video so let's let's go to the conclusion this is the conclusion yes i know taking all of these decisions before i actually even filmed the wedding might sound stupid but i think it's very very important because going there with a clear mind and clear idea what i want to um, achieve will help me to actually achieve it and hey if you just started when you making or even thinking about starting when you making tell me what steps did you take so far and please subscribe for my channel so maybe we can take this path together and i don't want you to leave here thinking that you didn't learn anything from this video so here's a fact if you stack all of the bacteria on the entire world on top of each other they will stretch for about 10 billion light years. Thanks for watching.